Hi guys, today I am going to show you the expression for work done in an isothermal process. What's an isothermal process? An isothermal process is a process in which T remains constant, that is delta T is zero. So let's get started. From ideal gas equation we can write PV is equal to nRT, therefore rearranging the equation we get P is equal to nRT by V. In this case, N is the number of moles that is constant, R is the universal gas constant and T is also constant as it's an isothermal process. So we can write this term as a constant. This is a constant. I denote it as K. So this is this is a constant. So we can write P is equal to a constant by V. So we can write P is inversely proportional to V. When we plot this as a graph we get a curve like this this shows the inverse proper, uh, proportionality between pressure and volume so we know that work is equal to F into S that is force into displacement we, we know that force is equal to area into pressure as we know that uh, pressure is, uh, is equal to force etc per unit area and just substituting that value right here and I am forming a new equation for work that is P into V, the product of pressure and volume. How the volume came here, right here? We know that area in the displacement can be written as volume. That's why it came as volume. So work done is equal to P into V. So if we have to find the work done in an isothermal process, we have to find the product of pressure and volume so in order to find that product we have to find the area which is occupied by this graph we have to find this total area that is occupied by that graph as this and curve we, uh, the, it makes more impossible to find the total area more accurately so I am just considering like strips and considering strips like this and finding the area of each strip and uh, summing it up so I get the total area so for that I use a simple technique in mathematics called integration so I use integration to find the total area under this graph so so for small work done DW can be written as pressure into a small work so in order to find the total we have to integrate this like this applying V2 and V1 as limits just integrating it in order to find the total work and we know that P is equal to NRT by V I am going to substitute that value right here for P so we can write NRT by V by DV integral V2 V1 I got this equation for work done so we know that NRT is a constant so I can write it out of the integral from here to here so work done is equal to nRT integral V2 V1 V raised to minus 1 dV so in the coming steps, I am going to demonstrate this integral step right here. We know that integral of x raised to minus 1 dx is equal to log to the base e x, x2 and x1 as upper and lower limits. We know this uh, simple, uh, uh, simple integral, integral technique. So I just used it right here and applying limits we get log to the base e x2 minus log to the base e x1 we get it is like this 
by applying limits. So we can write log to the base e x2 by x1 equal to log to the base e x2 minus x1. That's a simple uh, logarithm uh, identity. Uh, we know that uh, log to the base e m by m by n is equal to log to the base e m minus n. So I just use that for here. So I get log to the base e x2 by x1 is equal to log to the base e x2 minus log to the base e x1. So I just substituted uh, here right here and I get log to the base e x2 by x1. Okay. So it implies log to the base e v2 by v1 in this case. So I'm going to substitute that value right here. And put that I'm going to put that value right here. So we get W is equal to N naught E log to the base E V2 by V1. So that's it. That's the expression for work done in an isothermal process. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and like. So bye.